Do you let yourself dream of a bigger life for you? Or do you hold yourself back? So many of us want something bigger, something more in life, a business, more money, better relationships, but we hold back from even contemplating it, even allowing us to express it to other people to express it to ourselves even. We hold back from taking that first step. We're going to explore why and how to start to dream again. So this has been a part of my own experience. I have had many desires and dreams uh, throughout my life that in many ways I have held back from. Um, from big things like I've wanted to break out of the nine to five work pattern, get out of the corporate world. I have wanted to, to build a business, uh, to make something of myself, to grow something. I wanted to make a lot of money. I've also had desires to express my ideas and to um, allow myself to, to truly show up in the world and, and to be me. Um, but then simpler dreams I've had as well, I guess, you know, I've wanted to get to know certain people, uh, build certain relationships that, that are, would be valuable to me. Um, but even simpler, there's been times when I've just wanted to talk to someone that I've, I've noticed in a coffee shop that I, um, could have a simple conversation with. Um, so you might resonate with this yourself, like things that you have wanted to do, uh, maybe similar things that I've, I've discussed or, or other things, you know, dreams to travel or dreams to live in another place. Um, but for some reason, we have held ourselves back. We have allowed ourselves to let go of the dream. Resistance is present. There's resistance here and there's resistance here. And we allow this resistance to snuff out the dream, to push it back down um, and to not really permit it, its breath, its life, okay? So the resistance can come in thoughts, um, like I don't wanna be disappointed. It's too much hard work. I can't do it. I don't know how to do it. Others don't expect it of me. I'm not wanted. And associated with this can be emotions of, of lethargy, of uh, hopelessness, of fear. And all of this acts as resistance to the dream that just wants to be present in your life. So what is it that we are doing here when we're allowing the resistances within us to push down our dreams and our desires? Uh, let's turn to Neville Goddard now. Um, he says the following in At Your Command. The reason most of us fail to realize our desires is because we are constantly conditioning them. We condition them with the thoughts and the emotions that I just mentioned. Let's think about that a little more. We're conditioning them. So in effect, we put a condition on our dreams. I want to run my own business. And then I put a condition on it, which, which is um, if I know how to, if I have acceptance from other people as I do it. Um, if I can build up enough money first to allow myself to start. Um, we place these conditions on them and then our re internal resistance rises up because of these conditions and it pulls the dream down. So we condition them and in the process, we snuff them out. So what is the solution? Well, in some ways it's quite simple. It's the opposite of what we've been talking about. When we have our dream, when we recognize our desires, 
we accept our dream, our desires without condition. Neville Goddard says this, do not condition your desire, just accept it as it comes to you. Give thanks for it to the point that you are grateful for having already received it. Then go about your way in peace. Acceptance of the desire without condition, okay? It's an act of consciousness, it's an allowing, it's a turning from your judgment, and it's a welcoming, okay? Um, you permit it in your life, you allow it to be present in your consciousness. This is the key step to having your dream. When your resistance comes, you choose to set it aside and disidentify with it and come back to the desire, welcome it and accept it. Um, so Neville goes on, such acceptance of your desire is like dropping seed, fertile seed into prepared soil. When you drop the thing desired in consciousness, confident that it shall appear, you have done all that is expected to you. But to be worried or concerned about the high of your desire maturing is to hold these fertile seeds in a mental grasp and therefore never to have dropped them in the soil of confidence. So you're planting seeds. You hold on to them if you worry about them, if you have resistance. But if you let go of that resistance, let go of those worries, then your mental grasp releases and the seeds are allowed to fall into the fertile soil of confidence, the fertile soil of your consciousness so that they can materialize into your world. To further this point, um, it can be helpful to understand where these desires and these dreams come from and hence why we can trust and accept them. So Neville says, the spiritual man speaks to the natural man through the language of desire. The key to progress in life and to the fulfillment of dreams lies in the ready obedience to its voice. So the spiritual man and the natural man could also be regarded as the higher self and yourself. And in effect, your higher self is speaking to you through your desires. You're being called up to something higher. And so to accept those desires without condition is very important and can support you considerably in your growth. So this is what I'm trying to do myself. I want to rise beyond where I'm at um, and to do so, I'm letting go of my resistances and I'm allowing my desires to have their space and their presence in my life. I'm allowing them to breathe without condition. And I wanna encourage you to do the same. Um, I look back over my journal um, just this morning um, and back in August last year, um, I found something that encouraged me again today about my desires. And I'll just share it with you now. It's the following. It is good to have desires, to have goals. They are a focus of my energy and the resistance that I face in pursuing these goals, these desires. This resistance is coming to me and it is seeking to be healed and released. So there is healing for this resistance within me as I accept my desires, my dreams without condition. So I just leave that with you now. Um, that's all for today. Thanks a lot for watching um, and I'll, I'll speak to you soon.